morning everybody, Dwayne Lazar, Triple Nickel Dropper. On my phone today, I uh, pulled my SD card out of my GoPro yesterday to try and fix it up and proceeded to lose my SD card. I got another one coming for me, John. It should be here Tuesday or Thursday, pardon me, Tuesday or Wednesday. But until then, it's heated pockets in this phone. The uh, last show I had, I threw a shout out and I got the name wrong, I'm so sorry. Team Ambush, not Ambush Outdoors. Sorry about that, buddy. You've uh, been with me a while and I should know better. I just, like I said, no script and right off the top of my head. So how about we get out there and go check some traps? I got a good feeling about today because it was foggy, foggy, foggy yesterday. So let's hit the bricks. Well, that didn't take long for pictures but check this out look at these tracks how the hell did he get through there he went right through it huh must be a fox I got that wolf ram set for uh, Cayute so he probably bounced right through there that's why uh, I caught those other two this year by the back end they're trying to bounce through and their ass is a little fatter than they think it is, so. Yeah, well, check two in here. There's three more on the other side. I'll uh, ski do over there and we'll go check it out. I like showing my sled on uh, my shows here and my, my skidoo because, uh, skidoo, it's a Polaris, but I call them all skidoo, so. Just because when I'm in the bush, she's pretty black and white and and there's actually some color in my movie when I uh, show my sled, so. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, we're out of new bush here. I know, one bush looks like the next bush, but this is a real big, big bush. I just set these. Uh, on uh, the 11th there, two days ago. Oh yeah, we got a hit already. Well, that's a nice looking little coyote. Finally. You know, I've had uh, the last eight dogs I had. Six of them went straight in the pit. And uh, the two that didn't go in the pit, one had his tail tore right off. Wow frozen down. Let's check the other side before I grab a uh, snare for that one. I believe we're uh, all wolframs here. That one's still hanging there. We're going to leave it alone. All right. Seeing that wire was still there, so that's all I should need is a wolfram. I'm glad when Canadian offered all these things on. Man, I got like two dozen of the things. I'll give you a free one with every uh, two dozen and some of them hot summer nights, that don't last very long, right guys? All right, I'm gonna get in there and uh, get that made back up. I'll show you again. We got uh, one, two more up here. We're going to drop a uh, Lynx box. I'll show you when we get there. All right, guys. Nothing major. Blocked it off a little bit there. I should maybe move that stick just a little more. Excuse my glove. There we go. All right. Something like that for something like that, and he's a beauty. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's go for a ride. Hopefully we can do that a couple more times. Huh, he's a big one. Thought it was small one when I walked up, but no, he's got some size to him.
All right, I gotta rearrange this shite here and I'll pick up with you in a bit. Kinda ran out of trail here. I don't have a, uh, I've got my hatchet, but I'm not standing here cutting out with a hatchet. I've got uh, other stuff I will bring, my chainsaw, or I could probably get away with my machete and hack that up. But we had dogs go through here last time. So, I put a box in there. It's uh, not as easy catching the dogs in there, but I have had them put their heads in there before. There's a rabbit and some canine lure. See what happens, right? I guess we're going back that way. Let's do a spin here, let you see this country I'm in. Just beautiful day. Hope that wasn't too fast. Okay, I'm gonna bust a couple little twigs off and make that look like it's been there for a long time. We are running out of traps today, but and all we got is that one dog to show for it. We ain't done yet though. We're uh, we're gonna keep moving forward. We'll see what we can do. There we go. Something like that. Man, I can smell that skunk essence. He and you weren't kidding about that stuff being potent. Whew. All right. Giddy up, let's keep going. Everything put away? Sorta. Of. in here two days ago when I was here setting up. Three of them. Mama, Papa, Baby. Put a uh, trot line in. Set up my trail. I'll only check it every third day or so. I guess trot line's really a uh, fishing thing, but kind of fishing. Back of the train tracks here. I don't see any tracks through here since the last time I was here. Man, that's a lot harder for me to step over than it used to be when I had it just for Fox. Oh, something just ran away up ahead there. I don't know what that was. Another useless position for that. We're still good to go there. Doesn't look like much in here in the last since we were here in a couple days ago. Okay. 
I see it up there right in here and it's not touched well there's not even any tracks up to there okay all right oh well I'm rocking back if you guys whooped me last year you probably remember the wolves about this time I have not seen one yet this year not a track or bugger all and a lot of guys are asking me about the Wolverine. When my son Dylan was out in uh, July, we saw a young one uh, run across the road and bugger off into the field. He's black, he didn't have a crown. So, uh, I talked to guys in the store uh, one guy he lives 10 miles north of town. He said it's up there. And that's fine. It can stay up there. It's not eating my catches this year. But uh, it's right up by the lake. So it's probably living up there and eating on the ice fishers. Fish they leave on the ice. And last year it got cold. It expanded its territory and it still hasn't been around. But tomorrow... I'm going up north to the Cowbush and beyond, and that's where we had our trouble last year. So, with any luck or uh, without any luck, he'll be uh, all over my trap line again. So, just so you know, I've never caught one, so it would be sweet. No chin stick. There you go. All right, I'm gonna uh, start moving towards the house. It's gonna be dark in an hour. So if I see something to set on the way back, I will, but we're getting some steel out though. And all that wind is opening the fields up again. So oh well, we're not walking away from it. Look what that damn wind did to all my beautiful snow. Oh, unbelievable. It was so good out here. Now I'm doing the slalom course again, trying to find snow, and it's not bad on the bush line. See if I can find the bush line. There we go. There's snow down the bush line, but. Oh well, I can't see what I'm filming in this thing, it's so bright out. So I'm going to assume that we're looking at town right now, and I'm going home. Alright, we're all unpacked again for another day, some more color for you at the end. So it's empty. Keys out. Oh, well, tomorrow I'm gonna go set some power rounds north, so I might not be filming or recording, whatever you wanna call this. But I will be out laying in more steel so that we can have a show again in a couple days. This isn't terribly long either. Hey guys, I'm back in the house again. For some reason, uh, I froze up at the beginning out there and at the end, so I lost some footage, but you got the idea of what happened today out there, I'm sure, from what there is. I, uh, sorry about making you see uh, this again, two shows in a row, but it is what it is, sorry. I uh, don't want any confusion at the end. Another thing, my buddy Jason Engel has got his... Uh, 500th subscription yesterday. Uh, congratulations, Jason. You have a good show, so you really deserve it. I'm, uh, I think at 977 right now, and I like Jason's idea of the, the hoodie, but I don't have any triple nickel hoodies, but I do have shirts and hats. And uh, I got one right here. Hang on a second. I'll uh, grab it and put it on. Let you see what it looks like. 
now just so you know I don't wear hats so but hey there's uh, the logo on top that was de designed by uh, a friend of mine he's the uh, president of the Saskatchewan Gun Club Chris Defoe. did a really good job for uh, being drunk when he did it so uh, yeah number 1000 free shirt and hat I will tell you who you are on my next show if it happens but whenever it happens I will let you know and you will be able to uh, give me your address and stuff and I will mail it out to you unless you're close by and then of course you can just pick it up okay everybody uh, that's it for my time today again I'm hungry I'm gonna eat something I think there's some uh, whitetail hamburger helper and uh, get this thing going Keep moving forward, everyone.